Welcome to Electron Online and here's another method on how we can find the order of the reactants or I should say the concentration of the reactants using initial rate just like we did in the previous video to find the, react the reacting constant and this will work actually for multiple reactants and, and see how we do that here. So let's say we have two reactants A and B and they combine to form C. So we're going to do three experiments. Experiment 1, experiment 2, and experiment 3. In experiment 1, we have a concentration for a reactant A to be 0.1 and for reactant B to be 0.1. And then we measure the initial rate, the number of moles per liter per second that, are, that the concentration is changing. And then we go ahead and we do a second experiment. So now we have the concentration of A. So now it's only half of what it was before, but we keep the concentration for B the same. And then the third experiment, we'll go back and return to the initial concentration that we had before for A, but now we change the concentration of B to half of its original value. In each case, we measure the initial reaction rate. So what we did then do is we compare the change in the concentration to the change in the rate for A. We, change, we then compare the, ch the change in concentration for B uh, and the rate that happens for B. And it's not really that we're comparing the change, but we're comparing the concentration of the initial concentration of A when it's like this to the concentration when it's like this. So we compare experiment one to experiment two because that's where we change the concentration of A. And then we find the ratio of the rates. And then we find the ratio of the concentrations for B when we change it from, from here to here. So again, we, ch we oh, and this should be three, not two, because we compare experiment 1 to experiment 3 because here we can see that the concentration of B changes from 0.1 to 0.05 going from experiment 1 to experiment 3. And then we compare the rates so we can see how the rate changed, what the ratio of the rates is compared to the ratio of the concentrations. All right, let's do that. That's my calculator. So for A1, uh, our concentration was 0.1 and for A2, the concentration was 0.05. That is a 2 to 1 ratio. So we had twice as much uh, concentration of A as we did as in uh, experiment 1 as compared to experiment 2. So how did it affect the rates? Well, rate for experiment 1 was 4.8 times 10 to the minus 3, and the rate for experiment 2 was 2.4 times 10 to the minus 3, and we can see that the ratio there is also 2 to 1. And so to find the order for A, all we do is compare the, the rate ratio to the concentration ratio. So in this case, the rate ratio would be 2 to 1 and the concentration uh, ratio would be 2 to 1, which means the order is 1 for A. And so when we write the equation that the rate is equal to K times the uh, concentration of A to the order times the concentration of B to the order, in this case, the order of A is 1. So now let's do it again for B. Again, we started at a concentration of 0.1 and we went to a concentration of 0.05 going from experiment 1 to experiment 3. So that would be 0.1 divided by 0.05, which is a 2 to 1 ratio, just like for A. So how did the rate of the reaction change? Well, for 1, the rate was 4.8 times 10 to the minus 3, and the reaction for 3 was 1.2 times 10 to the minus 3. Now, this is a 4 to 1 ratio, so you can see that change in the concentration of B had a different uh, result, a different effect on the rate. So now when we compare the uh, rate, the ratios of the rate would be 4 to 1 divided by the 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 what we call the ratio of the concentrations, which is 2 to 1, which is 4 divided by 2, or 2. So there you can see that predicates that the order for B is 2, so we put a 2 up here. And that would now become the new rate equation for this particular reaction. And that's how we figure out the order of the various um, reactants. Again, we don't go by what we see in the equation itself and what the, what the coefficients are of the, of the reactants and the products. We simply do experiments, measure the rates, measure the concentrations, and then find what the ratios are to find the orders for the different reactants. And that is how we do that.